they are my they are, they are my favorite Jamaican group outside of the whalers and you know quite a f and their tunes and of of the era when I came in, they were the go-to group for me. I love the Tamlins, but the Mighty Diamonds and I just saw their talent and their ability and you know, we just did, you know, as I said before, there were challenges because it, it, the three members are of three different personality and personas. So bridging that gap to make music happen and happen good was a challenge, but you know, we, we got it done. And you know, I'm very proud to have had the opportunity to have worked with them. But let me fast forward to 2022. Um, I sat down and I said, God, Mighty Diamonds have not done any successful project for the last 10 years. So yeah, what's going to happen? I'm going to do an album with the Mighty Diamonds. I'll start this year. I probably never finish it for the next five years because the way oh, I want to do it, it is going to be something historical. I met with Tabby and I met with Judge and we agreed on all the songs and everything, everything. We agreed on the song when they did for the first to start recording. You know, Tabby didn't feel the same way we felt in regards to the agreed song. And I said to him, Tabby, look, respectfully, I'll pass. Tabby Diamonds died the next week. You know, damn. I mean, I'm saying like, oh, excuse my language, like, damn. Look at that, you know. And the only person I told it to then of the motive was Donovan Jeremy. And I told him that this is a strategy. I'm not going to do it now to put it out now. I am going to take the time so this becomes a statement and a masterpiece. Just didn't have, we agreed on all the songs. We provided the demos and everything. And we're just to start recording. And, you know, I mean, address this soul. But and he knows best. And that was going to be a new Mighty Diamonds album. Brand new Mighty Diamonds. All 12 or 13 songs were chosen, ready, good to go. And Tabby was taken away from us. I'm still in disbelief. Trust me. <laughs> That's <laughs> a, oh boy, I'm telling you, you know. But, you know, one of them things will move on, you know. Life, we're here still. And you mentioned the Tamlins. And the Tamlins is my favorite group. Not in terms of their catalog, but just their yeah. harmonies, you know? Yeah, man. Amazing. Most of the stuff we do, they, they, they did the harmony on it. Tons of stuff. Even Diamond stuff, I had them come back and do harmonies. Um, the lead singer, Junior Moore, really great person, you know? But they were they were great, exceptional group in terms of talent. As you said, the harmonies, they were the masters of it. Uh, when, when we mentioned Robbie, I wanted to go back to Robbie. Robbie Shakespeare and I, we just hit it off um, in the industry. I, I saw his talent and his ability as a, a bass player. And, uh, you know, he and I just, we just hit it off and we were friends. I remember there was even an era when, you know, I kind of had a downtime and, you know, Robbie did not, I, I had lost my creative, you know, juices and, you know, I just kind of timed out pretty much somewhere about 82 there and, I mean, Robbie even come to me, thought it might have financial and said, I mean, go see him if you want to do an entire album. No worry, no. We do everything, man. No worry about it. And, you know, and he and I, we were friends. Friends right through when he migrated further, right through him illness, right through and through everything. He was my friend. And Anka was kind of his, his go-to place. I mean, when he's in Jamaica every night, he sits outside under the canopy and just... Liming and with his friends who come by, it was kind of like his office. Even when he died, we actually had to take the office, the, the casket down to the studio and just have it sit right a bit right outside where he normally sits. I mean, I, I couldn't help it. I just break out into tears because I just remember we sitting there talking and, you know, we carried back outside and think Robbie was my friend. I mean, he was a great guy. A lot of people didn't understand him because he was a bit straightforward. And he had a little rough side of him too, but you know, that didn't affect me. I mean, he and I was friends. And, and in terms of Robbie's rating in the world as a bass player, Robbie personally telling me that, look, I can't read a music sheet, you know, but one thing I know, I know what to play, when to play and how to play it, you know? And he says he, he, he couldn't read or write music, but he was all music. And that was good enough. 